Hi guys, welcome to the instructional video for Dense Destructible Environment Network Toolkit for Unreal Engine 4. I'm going to show you how to integrate a destructible mesh into Den. So here we go. Now, the if you go to Dent, Destructibles, Destructible Master, we've got two Destructible Masters here. We have one with lighting effects and one with just the um, the, the main master. Now, whatever one you want to take the functionality of, you have to make a child object. So, the lighting is inherited from the master, um, but it has lighting with functions to disable lighting upon fracturing of the, the object. For a rock, we're just going to create a child object from here. Let's call that BP Dent Rock. Okay. So what we have here is this is the main features that Dent's going to allow you to take control of. Right. So on the mesh, we we'll just assign the rock. So that's us now got that. If the the, bla the damage here is for blast damage, so that means what happens is with the blast damage, what happens is when we take the explode and fracture, the as soon as the uh, the rock or object is fractured, the it will generate um, damage and an air on effect. Uh, so you have blast radius, you have blast strength, you have the the damage will be applied to any model, so you can kill. Um, or destroy other objects or players when it blows up. Now where Dent comes into its own is we have different fracture effects. So for example we'll take explosion as the fracture particle and So rockfall radial, rockfall, rockfall point, and we'll just do a different uh, here would point. There we go. That's not perfect particles, but we're going to have wood um, coming out of here when we get shooted with um, fractured and point damage, and we'll have explosions when it gets fractured with uh, with radial damage. Large chunk threshold. This is key for multiplayer. Um, on a single player it doesn't really matter but what happens on a network game if a large chunk breaks away it can block your character uh, this, so with the, the, the physics being rendered on, on your local machine and the, the server generating where it's hot and everybody sees the large chunks in a different place everybody sees the smaller chunks in a different place so if a large chunk is blocking your character the server and the other players won't see it. So what will happen is it'll affect the game, it'll stop your character moving, it'll, it can cause the game to lag out and just become generally not very nice to play. Personally I like to keep this about 250, um, depending on the object and depends on how big chunks you've got. If you've got big chunks in the object then you might need to ramp this up a bit. If it's not too big, keep about 250. But play about with it for the best performance for that object and the fracture. And pattern that you've got applied to it. Now, if we go and I'll just remove this destructible mesh from the game and I'll just bring the rock in. So if we play now, we'll be able to see the different fractures. And we see the other fracture. Okay, so that's how to bring a, a destructible mesh into Dent so it can be used as a, in a networked game. Okay, thanks for listening guys, catch you next time.